Yeah, but it's okay because I can cut it out. Yeah. <laughs> We're not technically starting yet. Because I want to make sure that I'm watching like the time texting. anyways. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Ashley sucks. She's boring. <laughs> uh, awesome. Okay. Holy shit, it's so staticky. It like keeps floating into my face. Alright. Ready? <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome to Abstract Boss. I'm Ashley, this is my friend Jenna, and I'm here to teach her how to do the flow painting, which in turn will also teach you guys how to do flow painting. We have a theme going on today, since it's too early for wine or, or Moscow mules, but we were thinking that it'd be a better idea to have some mimosas next time, so we got you. Technically it's <laughs> afternoon, and my mom says if it's afternoon, <laughs> then it's allowed, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, in Germany they have beer with breakfast, so... I don't know why we can't. Like, why is it so <laughs> frowned <can>. upon? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Next time. So, yeah. Coffee time. Coffee time. quiet. Coffee time. Okay. <laughs> so, first thing you want to do is pick out your colors. I have a mix of stuff. Um, the Artist Loft, one, Artist Loft ones that I have. Phthalo Green, Green Yellow, Deep Magenta, and that's it. I thought we were doing... Nope, this is the purple. The purple is from Acrylic Studio Art Alternatives, and it's a violet. And then we have Craft Smart, um, just dark blue, and Apple Barrel Caribbean, and Apple Barrel Bright Magenta. Oh, and Coral. Coral, Coral. It We're says tropical. tropical orange. Yeah, tropical. Tropical painting. And then we always add white into, or at least I do, white or black. You could do uh, black if you're more so, like you just love the vibrance peeking out of the dark uh, forest or whatever, but um, I'm more so the super bright, like always crazy and bubbly for some reason, so I have to do bright colors. So, <laughs> Ella, you saying hi? This is my husky. She likes to be on camera too. <laughs> but you wanna have a cup for every color. So we have, um, one for each and I just kind of put them by it so that way I remember whenever I need to like add more or mix it up again I want to make sure I remember which color was which because sometimes they're super close together and you don't want to not be able to tell which one you just used or you might be drinking wine like I do and pour one of the colors into the other colors cup and then you have to remake it or just don't, like I, I actually went right with it too. <laughs> it works either way. So, I'm gonna make you mix all of them. Okay. <laughs> Not all of them, all of them. <laughs> so, I found this mix from, oh gosh, I can't remember. I'll put it in the description when I remember her name. But she mixes four parts Floetrol, one part water, one part pouring medium. Um, I haven't actually used the pouring medium because I actually just got it in. So I've actually only been using the Floetrol and water mix, um, and it has been doing just fine. But if you have a lot of paint sitting on here, it's gonna crack, so just make sure that you pour a lot of your paint off and try not to waste a bunch of it. So what you do is pour all of these colors, um, however much you think you wanna have, into the cup. And what I'm gonna do is pour just a little bit. Okay, a little more. And like cover the whole bottom, like up to... <laughs> So you guys can see okay. this is about how much we have. And we're gonna do that for all these colors. And then you're gonna use this mix and you're gonna pour the exact same amount of this mix. Okay, so you guys can see how leveled that is. And popsicle stick for each one. I just get bulk popsicle sticks from wherever the heck it's cheap. And then you mix, yeah. You wanna try to do the next one? Sure, okay. So we mix. Yep, yeah, because you can always add more. So just, you know, if you add too much, it's whatever. Okay. Um, but yeah. Oops, these are brand new. Oh, yeah. I did get a, a sale. It was at Michael's for like um, three of these for five bucks. Oh, good. Yeah, that was like a sale that you really cannot good deal. pass up. So make sure you join the Michael's page or email or whatever the heck it is because you don't want to miss that stuff or just follow me because I'll announce it on my page too I announced it on my Instagram and Facebook Ooh, 
Ooh, I love this green. I do too. So tropical. Should we do more of it? Sure. Yeah. Do it. Why not? <laughs> do a crap ton of the ones that you love. But you know what? I love the tropical colors. Yeah. What kind of sucks though is like you can try to layer it and do more of this, but mm -hmm. it could hide a lot right. too. Yeah. Like I did some where I like basically had the majority of the cut coral and all the coral hid. All right. You don't love me again. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't meant to be. It wasn't. But it turned out to be a cool piece, just like pretty much all of them do. Here, go ahead and pour it in there. And we still need to do this one. So obviously this is not going to be my average length video. This is really breaking it down. I don't tell you guys what to do or how to do it on any of my other videos. So um, if there's another how-to that you want to know, they do end up being longer because I love to chit chat and I love to have someone come over and paint with me and it happens. So deal with it. <laughs> and we got the blue, dark blue. We got them all. All right. Coffee break. Woohoo! Okay, so when you're mixing them, the consistency, I've heard people say it in so many different ways. Um, I've heard them say it as melted ice cream. I've heard them say it as maple syrup, um, or even just normal pancake syrup, or runny like water that's like a milk consistency, but honestly milk seems to flow just like water to me, so I don't know. Right. Mm -hmm. I just, um, the way that I know, like this would be too thick, because see how it doesn't flow consistently when you mm -hmm. lift it out? Then you know that it's too thick. Okay. So, so some of them need more. Um, actually, what I'm going to do... Just grab water. Ah. I'll mix. So you can keep using the flow trawl, um, but honestly, I feel like that kind of wastes money if it already has a water mix into it. So it's okay to just add some water. And you just add a little bit and really make sure that you mix it up. Okay. How um, does this look? That's thick. Too thick. <laughs> Too thick. So I'll show you water. the good one. Okay. So that way you can help me mix the other ones to the right consistency. I had James help me once and I tried to pour it into my cup and it literally blobbed into my cup. And I was like, I don't know how many thought that was thin. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's a man. But look at this. Right. Ooh, that's actually pretty darn close. Is it? Okay. I think it just wasn't Ready? dripping before. Okay, yeah, I see. But it. see how it's still stopping a little bit? Mm -hmm. So it might just be slightly too thick. No, I like it. Okay. Yeah, I like it. So that one's good, this one's good. So just make sure you really mix it up and that'll make a difference. But here's the water if you want it. Okay, I think also we need some more sticks over here, Ashley. Oh, whoops. I was hoarding them. <laughs> Stick hoarder. <laughs> it's a new type of hoarding, guys. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh, never heard of that one. No. Nope. Although I have met people Ooh. who are crazy hoarders. Ooh, that one's really thick. Yes, it is. You know, I like that about the Artist Loft, though. Um, they are really thick paints, so I feel like the coverage is better. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, they do take a little bit longer to mix because of that. Um, and that's where, honestly, like it doesn't necessarily matter so far the type of paint when you're just starting like go cheap that's fine but make sure that you get it the right consistency because that's what's going to make a difference when you're trying to pour it around and messing with it that'll make a huge difference yeah i actually a lot of times like to buy these kinds of paints before the artist loft even mm -hmm. well because they're cheaper and they're i like the consistency paint. you do yeah yeah I think, um, I guess, yeah, with paint but, normal, but this type of paint, yeah, it's, um, I think it's better to have the high quality. Now this is really needing some extra love. Some attention. Some of us need a little more love. Well, don't forget <laughs> we put more paint in that one too, so. I know. Needs, yeah. Still more. <laughs> Needs more. Make sure you scrape the sides too, because that'll being needy. help. <laughs> it really loves you, Jenna. <laughs> Wants me to stay in it. <laughs> oh god. Should I edit that one out? <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Maybe we should be drinking mimosas. <laughs> what is this coffee doing to us? 
Oh, it must be really funny to Ella too. Now she's howling. <laughs> Or she's just telling us that we suck. <laughs> ah, shut up, people. Still too thick? Uh, no, I think that was pretty good. Good? Yeah, I think that's good. Okay. That's what I meant by like the consistent. It looks a lot thicker. It's coming off. Yeah, the original blob like. is fine, but. Okay. Yeah, once we add the silicone into it, that'll. Oops, see, that was way too slow. Wait, so we're still gonna put more stuff in this? In these? The silicone. Yep. Oh, so God. you can use just the Floetrol water pouring medium mix, whatever. Um, and sometimes the Floetrol does actually give you some cells. But what I personally love is um, adding the silicone because once the silicone gets added into the colors, it creates huge cells. And I think that it's a lot of fun um, seeing all those cells. And really, I guess what I heard from someone, so I mean, <laughs> don't quote me, but what I heard from someone is what it does is it makes some paints lighter and heavier than the other. So it shows which paints want to pop up through the others. Um, and that I thought was kind of cool. So some colors that you think would not pop up eventually do because they're just trying to flip to the top. Because of that silicone. Just a little bit more water. I really like the phthalo green. I think it's a pretty color. And then if the Floetrol turns uh, the paint lighter, that's okay. Um, it dries clear, so it'll actually be the color that you had intended um, when you originally put it in. Because I don't know if the camera will show the difference here, but this does look a little bit lighter. Um, and that's it's not something that you have to worry about. Are your hands tired yet? Not too bad. Not too bad. I think whenever I'm mixing with resin, that's probably worse because it's so much thicker. And so you're scraping the sides, trying to get the resin I don't to mix. Know about this one. Ooh, I don't know. I like this color. Look at this. Which one is this one? This blue. That's that blue? Really? That looks like a... Oh, look at that chunk. Yeah. Oh! We don't like it. So I put wax paper right here, by the way, so that way you can peel it off if you need to. Uh, just a little bit more water. Okay. I don't know if I like this dark blue now. Yeah. I thought it was going to be like an actual dark blue. Yeah, that looks kind of like a... Easter egg blue. Yeah. Ooh, periwinkle. Good plan. <laughs> so, ironically enough, um, it actually clicked off as soon as I said that. So now we're back. <laughs> Still stirring. Got another 12 minutes. <laughs> Still stirring. This is probably the most obnoxious part of the whole thing, um, is mixing the paint, and then the rest of it is so much fun. Woohoo! Uh, can't wait to know. see this. This is going to look so cool. This one feels pretty thick still, though. I know. That's what I was kind of thinking. Yeah, it's not coming off fast enough, so here we go. Woohoo! And um, some people do use Elmer's glue instead of Floetrol and water and they haven't had any issues with that as well really uh, yeah so i think it's really interesting like you just you kind of go with what Wait, your budget oh, allows with what water just like the flow trawl and water oh, okay yeah so you just kind of go with what your budget allows um and if you find that it's just really not working for you then you know invest in the flow trawl it's not that expensive you get it at home depot um but i personally would like to go up and that's why i am um, investing in the pouring medium now, which by the way, I'm going to give you guys a link below because um, Michael's is really expensive for the pouring medium, but I found it on Amazon for four times the amount for super close to the same price. So I got 32 ounces for like 23 bucks on Amazon, um, whereas it's like eight ounces and it was, I think, 19 at Michael's. So mm -hmm. it was really You can't use your coupon, you said. Yeah, you can't use your coupon. That's so because it's already the lowest price possible, which seems ridiculous for me. Ah, oh, that seems good. Okay. Let's see. Boom. Ooh, see, that's perfect. Ooh, I know. Look at Can't you. Oh, you're, you're becoming a pro. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting um, some silicone in these then. Sorry. Okay. So the silicone, I just shake it, hold away from my face, and then put the straw at the bottom of the cup and spray. 
Um, you only need like three, four drops into each. So really, I'm just, if you have an eyedropper, it's so much easier, but I don't, I don't know where it went. That or my dog ate it. You know, dog ate my homework excuse. But she really does, she eats like everything. She ate my chapstick the other day, I was really upset. <laughs> Ooh. I had to get a new chapstick. Okay. Oh, green. I was like, I thought we had more colors. Okay, so we not too much of this. No, you really don't need a lot, and having more isn't going to make a difference. So, yeah, you just quickly stir it up. You don't have to do a huge thing, so just quickly okay. stir and then leave it. Um, what I want you to do really quickly is go ahead and make a white. Okay. Because we got to have that negative space in here. Now, do you want to do just the flip cup, or do you want to do swipe, or do you want to do both? Both. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll do we'll flip cup this. here and swipe over here. Okay. Okay. This okay. is going to be enough. It wasn't really quite equal, but... Um... No, that wasn't a lot at all. No. <laughs> Go ahead and grab. We'll just put normal Floetrol into it. We don't have to make another mix until after. Right underneath there. And then you can use it directly into it. You don't have to have the um, actual pour mix. But, like I said, this just ends up being more expensive that way. There we go. And then another option, you can buy high flow acrylics, like we were talking about the other day. Um, but, of course, those are more expensive because they're already pre-mixed with some type of thinner, you know. Yeah. There we go. And we don't add silicone into the white. The reason I personally don't is just because I want that to be the heavier paint and I want the colors to float up. My husky is going to keep singing, so I'm going to go let her out. Alright, my husky can't make up her mind if she wants to stay in the snow or not. Sometimes she likes it, sometimes she hates it. Today, she wanted to lay in it and didn't want to come inside. So, I thought that was kind of funny because I was like, really? We actually had to like entice her to come in. And then I had to trick her. I had to throw the pine cone, because she likes pine cones. I had to throw the pine cone up on the deck so that way she was trapped on the deck and I could like herd her into the door. She's ridiculous. She's so smart. Okay. So now what we do, since we're doing a flip cup, I'm going to have the flip cup be in two cups over here and the swipe is going to be over here. So we'll do the white. Let's see. Perfect. See? Don't take my job. <laughs> but the white, what I want to do is I'm just going to kind of divide it by showing that, hey, the paint is not going to go past here. Doesn't have to be perfect, but that's also what we're going to use to swipe. And the paint does not dry very fast. That's actually the benefit of the Floetrol. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to alternate. You can actually take out, I scrape it along the sides, the popsicle sticks. Just like that. Okay. Oh, don't forget to mix one more time just in case for the uh, silicone. Because okay. these ones I forgot to mix. I just put these off the side? Yep. You can stack them. doesn't matter. Not really going to use them. You can always get more. Bulk is like a thousand for like three bucks. So I don't think it's really worth saving. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think that's not worth the stress. have to wait for these things to dry and... Then they stick to everything, it's annoying. So, what you can do is, it doesn't really matter, but you can just layer the paints however you want. So if you wanted this side to have more of a purpley vibe, then you're gonna wanna put more purples in here in hopes that that will happen, because you can never mm -hmm. like actually know what's gonna happen. Um, if you want this to be you know, more of the blue-green vibe, then you can do that over there. So it's up to you how you wanna do that. Um, or we can layer all colors on both sides. Okay. Which one? Let's do them all on the same. Oh, okay, all so use all the colors. Go ahead and follow right after me with those colors. I'll just give you about the way. same? Yeah, just pour it right on top. Out. Oops. It's okay. See, and that's okay when that stuff happens because when you flip it over, it's just going to take over, anyways. And then grab another color. And you can alternate. You could do a lot, you could do a little. However you want to do it. Oh, that's actually already looking cool on the mm -hmm. side. Good color picks. And that green. Ooh, you want a lot of pink? A lot of pink. Let's oh, do a lot of coral too. in this one then too. 
My green's gonna be so nice in here. It's so nice. Just make sure that you're saving some um, for okay. the um, swipe. swipe side. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then what we'll do now that we've gotten all the colors in here. It's awesome, huh? Now for the swiping, you really just want to put the colors wherever. So just kind of lay it out. I still wanted to save some because you want to go in and re layer if you can. It's better to have multiple layers than to just do it all one time. So go ahead and pour some in and then put it over here somewhere. Perfect. Do some more, I'll do more gray right here. You can make it go all over the place, wherever you want. Oops. <laughs> it's okay. It's all going to get swiped off anyway, so it's not going to make any difference. Got okay. some dark green. There we go. One of my favorites that I will not sell because I love it so freaking much is a swipe. I just, oh man, I can't Now, should we use all of the, just use all the paint? Just keep putting um, it until it's all I gone, like or? to keep some of it just so that way we know, like, hey, we have a little bit of paint left. Okay. Um, and then you can pour a little bit of white in here so that way that hopefully pops out as well. But here's the fun part. I've seen people do this a couple different ways. When you flip this over, um, I personally like to have, if I'm filling up this big of a canvas, I want to have a pretty full cup. So I am going to pour more to fill this up. This should be pretty good. Okay. Um, but let's put some more in these. Go. Yeah. Um, just because you really want to make sure that you don't have to ruin it by adding more later. There we go. Now here's the fun part. You <laughs> ready for this? Yep. Here. Okay. Okay. So you have to flip it really fast. Um, oh some people will put like um, a hard something <laughs> right in the pull it. And then pull it off too. Yeah. You could totally do that. Um, I think oh that it's way more fun to just flip and be messy. Does <laughs> it splash on us? No. Okay. See? You just gotta do it fast. Oh, it's here. <laughs> you might splash it on me. <laughs> you did good. Oh, look how pretty that is. <gasps> Love it. Okay, so, so we're gonna leave those. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this popsicle stick and let's go ahead and take the white one. While this is sitting, we're going to surround it with some white so that way we have some negative space coming through. And then I'll have you do this side. But what you want to do is you want to start in the white and you want to very lightly pull it off. Okay, so you can do a paper towel if you want because it'll reach across the whole canvas. Um, I haven't done it yet so I don't really want to do that on my how to video. I usually use this. Um, and so I think that it covers enough to where like when you swipe off, it mm -hmm. looks really good. Um, popsicle sticks works too. So if you don't have one of these, but I think it was like a dollar or something at Walmart. Right. Um, so I'll do half and then you can do half. Okay. But you just want to grab it and lightly drag the white across the colors. Oh, it's not touching. <laughs> it's like all drooped down. There we go. And then you go all the way up. And I wipe it on the edge so that way I get my edges. And then you want to leave it because you can tilt after, um, and then that's going to help fill those spaces. So okay. go ahead and go for this one. And if you wipe the um, color off of this, then you're not going to have it come into the white, but I kind of like it doing that, so that's why I did that. Mm -hmm. um, but don't forget to use it and bring it onto the side so that we have finished edges because I do not like not having finished edges. You can always like scoop it up down here too because mm -hmm. that looks really cool. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, it does. <laughs> so <Love> it. <laughs> And then you can just add that to the side. You know, it's pour more paint over there, like whatever works. Um, and then, 
if you're trying to do two things, you can always hold it and tilt. Let's bring in some of this other stuff out though, so I don't want to tilt too much. We might actually have to swipe only on this one, just so we're not losing what this is doing. So we might have to do that. Okay, swipe one more time. Okay, okay. All right. Right in the middle. Ooh, look how pretty. Okay, and then you don't want to do it too heavy because you're going to scrape all those colors away. So we're just going to leave those, let them be. Okay. Oh, let's do this with our finger. Just so that way it got on top of the canvas there. Do you see any more spaces? Oh, right here. Mm -hmm. You can use your finger to get the edge. I don't know, I don't think I see any more. But of course we get to torch it because that makes it look so much better. But we want to let it do its own thing before so you torch it. All the colors are going to start popping through? Yep. Okay. Yep. Like this, see how this is yep. really formed and then this one too? Yep. Oh, I love it. Okay. Ready? Can yep. I take that one? I'll take this one. Okay. All right. One, two, three. three. I love <laughs> the colors. Okay. And then I like to drain it anywhere. Um, you can always like tap it over onto the side. Just so that way you get all that paint and you're not missing it. Oh my god, I love the Put colors. it on the corner. Yeah, look at that. <gasps> I love the purple ah. with that orange. That orange looks neon and I was going to use mm -hmm. neon. Oh no, the coral. <gasps> That's so pretty. It's a coral, yeah. Okay, try to tap it on the corner. See if you can get that corner. Corners are the hardest one to uh, do, so that's why I like to do that. Okay. So now the trick is going to be not getting it to go into our swipe. Um, wait, can I snap this real quick? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should too. It's All my so followers. Fun. I'll put my snap to follow down below so you guys can always come follow me as well. <laughs> Boom. Yay. Here, hold on. We gotta actually get one of us too. <laughs> While we're live on video. Right. <laughs> I love it. Go on our Snapchat, okay? That's, I mean, that's just the long and short of it. All right, so now, since see how there's a lot of paint pile here, you can like literally do this. We're doing a video, bud. Go do your own thing. He's like, oh my child, I love my child. I love my child. I love my child. that him in this video. He's like that. He was doing this. Oh, but when you go, he goes, what are you guys doing? I'm making a video, bud. <laughs> Maybe I won't edit it out. But I don't know if you like the mean face. Though. I'm like, I don't know what oh. the mean face is for. He actually did his own video. He did. He's like, Mom, I'm going to make a video for YouTube. And I was like, that's so cute. That is cute. Oh, love this kid. Oh my god, I love these colors. All right, me too. So now, you don't want to swipe it because then all these things are going to no, go away. No, you don't want to. But yeah, you the can. cells will expand as you move it. So look at that. Oh. You try to move it to where it's not gonna fall off. Now there's a couple ways to do that. I like to stand up at this part. You need to record it? Mm -hmm. Yes. See, and I just don't want it to be linear, so notice how this line is starting to curve. You can bring it back and make it all linear if you want by just have it going mm -hmm. off one side. But I don't want anything to be linear, so I'm just gonna keep moving it around. There we go, let's go all the way to our white, and then come this way. Gorgeous. I friggin' love this. I love the colors. Yes. Go off to the side. And then now, you can wear gloves or not. We're messy, so I'm probably not going to wear gloves. But you just want to, like, kind of hold your hand onto the side. So that way, once it starts to touch your hand, you can drag it along the edge there. Mm -hmm. And then that way you're getting your edges done, too. Awesome. And then just kind of make sure you're touching that there. This is where you're going to get really messy, though. So if you want gloves, go for gloves, I guess. Wimp. <laughs> so now we're coming down this way. See how it just expands everything each time you move it, though? So then you kind of, sometimes, because of the way you have to move it, you end up getting rid of stuff that you actually end up liking. Um, so really just play around with it. There we go. Oh, I love the color. Oh, right? Come across. I want to make a purple and grayish one for my bedroom. Should we do it next? <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> when I'm in a painting mood, I just keep going. Like, I don't want to stop. I like okay? this. I think I like this me. one more than that. Well, we haven't torched it yet. But yeah, you're right. I, I guess I don't know torch it. Now, on the bottom, I do, before I forget, I do have thumbtacks um, pushed into this because you don't want the paint to end up suctioning this to it. Um, 
So really it just depends on the look that you're going for. This looks fantastic, but some people don't like having so much color and not enough negative space. So really just play with it and see what works for you. I'm gonna take a quick break, wash my hands, and we're gonna come back and torch it. Once you lean it too, and you can get all this paint to come off more, that also helps as well, if the paint's not as thick. Um, and that will help a lot of the other colors to be able to pop through, because obviously this white is just kind of sitting on top. So you can play with it. You can actually decide, you know what, there's not enough happening, we can try to swipe again. But then you also risk blending it all, and it's not gonna be as vibrant, because you have to keep swiping. So notice how these are more vibrant, and this one's more of like a muddy color. Sounds like Tinder. Because had... Keep swiping. <laughs> I actually said that on one of my other videos. I don't remember which one. But I was like, just swipe left. I was like, or swipe right. I'm like, I don't know. I don't have the app. <laughs> I'm married. She's single. So, you know. <laughs> All right. But I'll do this side and you can do this side. Okay. Okay. Since this one's your favorite. <laughs> I love it. Oh so once you start torching... What is it's probably I just little... put some, oh, maybe it's not, oh, I've turned it down. Oh. <laughs> oh okay. Do not I'm hold it super you. close. I'm coming for you guys. And then look how cool, like, it gives it a really unique texture, I think, um, when you blowtorch it. And then it'll also have some of the other colors, like now coral pop through the blue. Um, so you want to go over the whole thing while torching. You don't want to hold it too, too close because you will actually burn the paint. Um, it'll start to bubble. I've done it. <laughs> oh my gosh, these two techniques are going to look nice together, though. They are. I actually think it's really cool having the two. I might have yes. to do more like this just because I think it's I pretty like it. amazing. Balls. Ooh, see there's smoke. I accidentally hung around too much there. <laughs> Blow. I love it. Oh my god, I love the it. The blowtorch just makes me love everything so much more. I think it's so cool. Look at that. Oh, 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 oh. And we can even lean it this way. Oh, Ashley, you're just making me feel so happy right now. Yay. See? <laughs> <laughs> That's what this painting does, though. Like, it's so fun. It's not stressful because it doesn't matter what happens. It looks amazing. Yep. Like, all we did was pour paint in a cup, flipped it over, and that's what we this got. Looks amazing. Like a freaking masterpiece. Yep. <laughs> okay. So, really work those edges. Work it, work it. Ooh, see, look at that transition. Like, that looks cool now. Mm -hmm. I love it. Your turn. Torch Ooh. it, baby, torch it. Watch out, boys. <laughs> She's gonna blow a torch now. Maybe you don't want to message her. <laughs> Go that way. Go on that side. I already did that side. Oh. <laughs> oh. Really, it See, just kind of adds more. It does, it adds yeah. even more. Yep, and then as it dries, they expand until, you know, the paint is just too um, dry or thick. See, I love that. That's so cool looking. <gasps> oh my gosh. I feel like I'm going to light this cup on fire or something. Probably. <laughs> now, do you usually do it, like, all over or just a little bit here and there? It depends. Like, if I'm in love with something, like, if you really love this and you didn't want to screw it up, then don't torch it. Just leave it. Um, but if you're just in love with it all and you just want to see what torching does to it all, then do it. But see, I love that it adds, like, this extra mini cell texture going on. Yes. I love that. I think that it really provides a difference. See, look at wow, that. Wow, that, all that just popped yeah, up. Yeah, and it kind of makes it look like you're looking under a microscope or something. Mm -hmm. Like, I think it's, it's very so scientific cool. or like, yeah. Reminds me of like dinosaur eggs. <laughs> That's true, right? Like, <laughs> I don't know. Like the super colorful ones that you just want to imagine are the amazing I... dinosaurs. This is beautiful. Yeah. 